is pitching their proposals to the public today, each hoping to be the one chosen to build a potentially multi-billion dollar casino development. And WGN's Mike Lowe is joining us now with more on these proposals. Mike? Ray and Micah, this dates back to the 2019 law signed by Governor J.B. Pritzker in his first year. That law authorized the long-sought but never realized Chicago casino. It hasn't been easy to reach this point, and many people doubted that it could ever be done. Mayor Lori Lightfoot sketched a lofty vision for the mega development. For a casino that I am confident will rival anything anywhere on the globe. We've got our eye on the real prize. Each company made a pitch to the public. That Valley's Chicago will live up to your exceptional reputation. Valley's Corporation offered two ideas. One would build a casino, high-rise hotel, and entertainment venue at the Chicago Tribune Publishing Center on Chicago Avenue and the River. The other proposal would build a similar complex at the truck marshalling yard south of McCormick Place and west of DuSable Lakeshore Drive. Our offer has you considering two distinct sites that are currently underutilized. We believe both sites are economic sleeping giants. Hard Rock would build its hotel casino entertainment complex over the Metro tracks across from Soldier Field. Focusing on the Hard Rock brand's ability to attract top entertainment. More than anything else, we do 35,000 live shows a year. Rivers submitted two proposals. It's the wrong thing to tear that building down. One would reuse the Lakeside Center at McCormick Place. The icon of modernist architecture would provide a lakeside location and have minimal environmental impact. The adaptive reuse of the existing building will dr drastically reduce the carbon footprint that a new building brings to the environment. The second Rivers proposal would build an anchor to the so-called 78 neighborhood south of Roosevelt along the river. It would extend the river walk from downtown past the South Loop and add a stunning 1,000-foot tower, focusing on how the casino could bring the neighborhoods and downtown together. Architecture can be that connective tissue. Look to downtown and reflect back to the neighborhood. Mayor Lightfoot says her administration wants to keep gaming revenue in Chicago instead of it being spent in Indiana. Sorry to the Hoosiers, but that's money that should be here invested in our city. She estimates the casino will bring in $200 million a year in tax revenue, which will provide funds for police and fire pensions while creating thousands of jobs. Before any of that, there will be more public input on the proposals unveiled today. This won't be the last time that the community is involved in this process. This is the beginning, not the ending. And the mayor's administration will determine the top proposal, then send it to city council, then the state gaming board for approval. Now, we're not likely to see a completed casino in the city until sometime in 2025. So hours and hours of proposals today. I know the mayor didn't have time to watch all that then. No, but she did promise that she would go back and watch them. She said she has her holiday binge watching ready to go. So she will watch all of them. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Yeah.